For all the drama surrounding the national debate on alternative versus traditional energy, if you actually take the time to look at some of the current next-gen deployments, it's hard to see what the big fuss is all about. We're here in the North Fork of Long Island at the Half Hollow Nursery. This is a prosperous 700-square-acre farm that sells essentially wholesale shrubs to landscapers around the Northeast. And what they spend $500,000 a year on, believe it or not, is on this sprinkler systems. This was installed in the 60s, traditional irrigation systems. This is fed by 10 wells that are supplied by 10 diesel pumps that each burn five gallons of diesel an hour to keep all these marvelous plants green. And starting about a month ago, they installed a new wind turbine system. It's probably the largest in, in Long Island to save the company money and move into the 21st century. What Half Hollow did was they installed what is probably the largest wind turbine on Long Island. It's 160 feet from the base to the top of the rotor, made by a company in Vermont called Northern Power Systems. A system like this cost the pool half a million dollars, and to afford it, they had to work in cooperation with LIPA, the Long Island Power Authority. They gave them discounts, there's tax incentives, there's certain metering options that we're going to take a look at. But what this allows them to do is to get a wind powered edge against the cost of power, and honestly, the technology could not be more mundane. Here we are inside the tower, and look, nothing could be simpler. There's a large turbine driven by the rotors, and it makes electricity that comes down in a standard wire to this terminal box that runs to wires that run into the ground and off to a simple meter. This is standard technology. There's nothing complicated about it. This business simply installed it here. Fascinating stuff. And the large cable comes up from here, up to the ground, nothing very complicated from that, and it terminates into, guess what? A traditional power meter like you would see, as I said, in any home or business. And you can see right here that it's 17,513 kilowatt hours of power have been generated by the turbine since it went live in about the second week of April. Now, the secret to the system is so-called net meter. What happens is, is the 17,000 or so kilowatt hours that the turbine generates is subtracted from the total usage of electricity that this business buys, this business consumes from the LIPA grid. The more the wind turbine creates, the less money this operation has to spend on power. And in that sense, LIPA sort of makes a market in electricity. The system is not perfect, but this allows small businesses to invest in new technologies like the turbine. Very interesting idea. Now, is the arrangement between Half Hollow and LIPA perfect? Of course not. Half Hollow cannot make more electricity than it consumes. It cannot seek to put LIPA out of business. Is LIPA protecting its franchise? Of course it is. Is this technology expensive? This is a half a million dollar item. It'll take them maybe 10, maybe 15 years to pay this item off. But the fact also is that the core technological impediments that keep us from putting these tools out in wider usage are no longer there, and it's hard to see what the issue is to keep these things from being deployed. I'm Jonathan Bloom, CNN Money in Eastern Long Island.